We have a scenario of a VTuber who accused a design company of using AI, but then got hit with the Uno reverse card. So let's get into this. So this screenshot was taken by Mama Octo, and this is the original tweet that was put up by the VTuber, who originally went by the handle Liz B Art. So opening up the screenshot, Liz B had tweeted on August 18th, which was two days ago, 800 plus VTubers scammed by AI quote company end quote, were you one of them? As I started doing VTuber commissions, I checked other artists with the same price range as mine. I got curious because some of my clients got models from this company. I decided to go check more about it. Why would they charge such prices with a really good render quality while having many beginner mistakes? After a little digging, I understood why. And here it is. And I think this already goes to tell you where this is going when there's a community note that is added. <laughs> the community note says, at Lisby Art is using the fear of AI to smear their competition and engagement bait. The person they are accusing has provided multiple evidence contrary to the claims. On computer analysis of provided photos, they were detected to be probably at least 90 90% human likely. So this was the first tweet of the thread. The second tweet that I could grab is this screenshot by Twitter user ToxicFox07. And the screenshot reads, Liz says they're using AI and it shows in several ways. One, shadows and details are completely mismatched. Two, inconsistent render quality within the same piece. Three, illogical hair strands and braids. Four, a lack of consistency, like outlines in one area and none in the next. There are more AI symptoms, but I put the most obvious ones. Also, the person or company they are accusing is this Twitter user by the handle Sen7U or who goes by the name Forest7. So they are a design company. They are the one that runs it, but there's a lot of artists that they work with to go and make models and VTubers. Again, because the thread is gone, I have to go off of screenshots. So here we have this reply to the deleted tweet by I like word games with some of the examples that Liz had provided of AI. So I like word games says, hey, this is a very irresponsible threat to make when your evidence looks like this. Spreading AI rumors to sabotage your competition is not very ethical. So again, here are some examples that Liz provided. Liz wrote, this one is funny. Look at the rest of the clothes and this belt. So I think they're referring to the level of rendering in the clothing versus the level of rendering in the belt. How the belt is very unrendered, but the rest of the clothes are rendered. On first glance, this does look odd, right? The juxtaposition of the highly rendered jacket versus the unrendered belt is a little bit odd, but also we are missing a lot of context to this photo. I'm assuming this is probably not the completed model. This is probably a work in progress. So maybe the artist just fully rendered the jacket, sent it over to the commissioner being like, hey, here's how the jacket looks like, belt TBD. <laughs> you know, we don't know what stage this was in. If this is the completed model with an unrendered belt, that would be odd. But I'm assuming it's probably not. Their second piece of evidence is the, I cannot pronounce this, please forgive me, but the little like hair swoosh thing that some anime characters and VTubers like to have. It says, not logical, seems like it is not attached. Is it called like Aho? And yeah, it is unattached. As you can see here, it's a little bit of a swoosh. This does look a little bit maybe odd, but it could be a design choice. This on its own doesn't liken to me the fact that this is AI. Because actually, to me, as somebody who has seen a lot of AI art, I feel like I'm decent. I want to say I'm great, but I'm decent at clocking whether something's AI or not, right? AI, when it comes to drawing hair, has a tendency to blend one element into another. So when it's drawing one hair strand, it has a tendency to make like a hair strand bleed into the ear or to make a hair strand loop and bleed into other hair strands. So it's actually akin to AI art's floating pieces, if that makes sense, because floating means it's not connected to stuff, but AI has a tendency to connect random pieces together. This just looks like a human choice. Somebody, some artist was like, we're just going to draw it like this because AI has a tendency to not do that. AI would probably bleed this hair flip into this strand here, this like the start of what looks like a purple streak or a blue streak in the hair. And the third example is this is so messy the way it's cut out from AI apparently. So here I will grab you the full photo in a second, but this is somebody's head with a horn. So this is one chunk of hair. This is another chunk of hair. And as you can see here, the hair disappears behind the horn and doesn't reappear again. I will say is a mistake that AI tends to make. AI has a tendency when one element disappears behind another to not make that same element reappear. So that actually is something that you commonly will see in AI art. Everything in terms of determining whether something is AI or not is all about context. It's about the full picture you can glean. And so far from the full picture and from everything that I've seen does look more to be human error than not. I will say though, if this is a paid commission, this is a rig that somebody has paid money for, the mistakes like this are human error and there will be mistakes in a model, right? Like a human will make your model, a human will rig your model. So we should be forgiving of human errors. I will say this should have been something that the artist should have clocked. And if you are the person that received this artwork, this is a very valid thing to point out and be like, uh, 
um, can you fix that? You know, that's my personal thoughts on an error like this. But I do think this is more of a human mistake. I do think this mistake can be found in AI art. But does this mistake on its own prove that all of the art made by this so far? No. So this was a tweet put out by Useful Oranges, also replying to the original tweet that was deleted. Useful Oranges says, I put out some things in the models that AI wouldn't do. A lot of the things you're seeing are just rigging fuck ups, layering F ups, and it's clearly rush products, which are at a low price. Do not make statements against companies like this. So some more examples. What? What is this supposed to? What are these zigzags? Oh. Okay, so this is example number one. So as you can see here, some elements that were marked are gaps. This is really hard to see, but if I zoom in, you can see there is a gap between the color and the line. As you can see here, right? You can kind of see the small inkling of this caution stripe tape behind the hair. You can see here, there is a gap between the color and the actual line. There's another gap. There is another gap. There's more gaps. Oh my God, let me slide this all the way over. There's a whole bunch of gaps in the fingers here. There's like a cut in the line of the thumb here. And Useful Oranges says, this is simply just blurred and cut. And again, if you're not a VTuber or somebody who has made VTuber art, the term cutting may not sound familiar to you. Have you ever made those paper dolls? Those paper dolls where you have to cut out the arms and the legs and then you like pin the arm to the body, you pin the other arm to the body and then you can move the arms and legs and make a move. That's essentially the most dumbed down way I could explain how somebody would make a VTuber model move. So somebody takes the paper model, cuts the arms and legs off, pins them to the body, and then you can make a move. That is what cutting means. This is a way long and unnecessary explanation, but I'm just trying to make this clear for those of you guys who don't know how to make the model art, etc. So the terminology that I'm using makes sense. So anyways, that's what they're talking about here. And then in terms of the gaps, the gaps is actually something that happens to like every single brushstroke you add on. How the gaps happen, okay, is an artist is, you know, minding their own business, they're drawing. This is going to look really bad because I'm drawing with my mouse, right? So they will draw the line art. Let's say you're just drawing a triangle and then they will color the triangle in. So a human being will go do, 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 color it in, color it in, color it in. What the gaps come from is sometimes when they're color, when the artist is coloring it in, they thought they colored it, the entire triangle in, not realizing there's a little spot they left out. This is actually a very common mistake human artists make. Almost every single art piece has this. To make sure that you colored it exactly is extremely tiny time consuming. So most of the time you just color it in. You're like, looks pretty good. That's a very human mistake to make. So this was another model example that Useful Oranges is debunking. Useful Oranges says there's no AI here. And some of the elements they're pointing out is one, how horns like these are very difficult to rig. So therefore it's hard for them to be AI. And I do agree, right? The more complex an element is, the harder it is to use AI in terms of making a VTuber model. When you use the AI to generate the artwork, it's going to look very complex complex, then to chop it up and then to rig it is going to be even more time consuming. It's extremely time consuming to the point that it is actually more time consuming to use AI for it than if you just drew it yourself. Because if you drew it yourself, then you can draw it in a way that's easy to rig, if that makes sense. Rather than going out of your way to use AI, which is not generating something that would be easy to rig, then you have to then cut up. The other thing they're pointing out is consistent color for unusual light. So a big issue that AI art has is AI has a tendency to use an astronomical amount of very similar colors for no reason. It's because again, human artists are trying to be efficient. They're not necessarily lazy, but they're trying to be efficient, okay? It would not be in the best interest of an artist to select one shade of purple, color one part in, and then select a slightly different shade of purple to then continue coloring. So what AI tends to do is if you have different elements, right, it would have like, maybe this part would be one shade of yellow, but then three pixels over, it would use a different shade of yellow that doesn't make much sense to change. But with the horn, as you can see, there's a very solid and consistent color use. The lighting on the left horn is the exact same color as the lighting on the right horn. Color of the horn. AI will not do that. AI will use slightly different colors. So that is one instance where you can tell whether it's AI that's not present in these horns specifically. Oh, another thing too I do want to point out is the consistency within the eyes. The eyes are extremely consistent and they're very symmetrical, which is something AI is not good at doing. And it might be very subtle. So on first glance, you may not be able to notice, but if you look closely, maybe like the irises will be slightly different. The these eyes are extremely symmetrical to where I find that that would be very unlikely for it to be made by AI. They also pointed out the braids and this was what Liz had pointed out as being an evidence of AI. This braid here is not even rendered and that's not something AI would do. AI would not render a piece and then 
leave elements unfinished. And what rendering means in the art world is shading, highlighting. You know how this part of the bangs, you know, there's this like shine here. Yeah, this strand of braid specifically has no shine, no shadows whatsoever. And AI would not do that. AI would not leave elements unrendered. That is just a human design choice or human error. Maybe they forgot. Could have been either or, right? But that is done by a human hand. Useful Oranges also pointed out the consistency within the shapes of the braids, which I do agree. AI, again, is not very good at doing that. It will make the braid really, really thick and then make the end really thin or it'll have like the braid strands winding in really arbitrary directions. I do also want to point out one thing too. AI is really bad at making jewelry. The jewelry will very look very nonsensical. Pendant makes a lot of sense. It's a three-pointed pendant with these little swirly designs. It does look very intentional. From me looking at it, and there's a little fox here too. Very intentional. Has to be done by a human. AI would not do that. AI tends to make jewelry look extremely garbled, especially if it is fancy, intricate jewelry. Another model that Liz had accused of being AI and the white text with the black outline is Liz's text says hair shadowing in some places make no sense. AI hair. I mean, the shadow can be a little bit arbitrary because for VTuber models, VTuber models are designed in a way to have very arbitrary lighting, very front on, but also arbitrary lighting. So it makes sense for a VTuber model to kind of have hair shading. Doesn't make sense in a general scheme, but it would make sense for a VTuber model. They stated the eyes are really weird. I don't see any issue with the eyes as I'm looking at it. The eyes again look very symmetrical. Again, because Useful Orange has circled the irises, it's a little bit hard for me to make out all of the details, but the irises look very symmetrical in the rendering to me. The artwork does look very consistent. It's it's basically mirrored in terms of the, the chest design, the shoulder plate design, and with some asymmetry in the clothing. This does not give me AI vibes whatsoever as I'm looking at it. This all looks very human made. Again, we have a kind of like a pendant breastplate thing going on in the center chest. It's intricate jewelry, which AI tends to screw up. And this intricate jewelry looks very even, very symmetrical, makes a lot of sense. And then here we have a breakdown from TXT Cal on Twitter, who put out a really, really great breakdown of all of Liz's accusations that I really like. So they wrote, there's a gross thread growing around about how a whole VTuber company used AI to make their models. Until I see stone cold proof of this, I'd like to debunk bunk this thread since there are plenty of YouTubers who are scared they had their model made from AI. Here are the first couple of points I would like to point out that many of their points in this one, if the shadows not match the hair. Here is some art from Kachiru underscore I. The point here is to say that the shadows of the hair isn't always going to match. So here's Kachiru. Here is some of the shadows for the hair. As you can see, some of the shadows don't exactly match right. As you can see here, there is this shadow here that I guess is supposed to match this hair strand, except the shadow is a little thicker. There's this shadow here that is also a little bit thicker than this strand that it's supposed to be a shadow for. But this is clearly human made artwork, right? At the end of the day, it's just a design choice, right? The art looks pretty. It is what it is. It doesn't have to be like 100,000% anatomically correct. Sometimes you can give or take a little bit for artistic reasons. It's a more stylistic choice. The hair and the shadow aren't always going to match because of it, point blank. Even if you want to argue about the shadows, they're completely symmetrical. Yes, the hair is asymmetrical, but this is simply human error, in my opinion. This was one of the models that Liz accused of being AI. Remember the little hair flip that we talked about earlier? So here was the full screenshot where Liz is saying the shadows don't match the hair. How this shadow doesn't match the hair, how this shadow doesn't exactly match the hair. Like I will say, yeah, the shadows don't match on its own isn't something that would really necessarily indicate AI because again, it could be human error. And a big thing too is AI is not good at symmetry. <laughs> AI just doesn't do that. So the fact that these shadows are extremely symmetrical looks like, I don't know, the artist who drew this just symmetry tool, drew on one side, it flipped onto the other, and then they called it a day. Doesn't take away from the fact that the model still looks pretty. They're highlighting quote unquote illogical details here. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to highlight here, this circle. Is it like this triangle? Except the triangle is present on the other side of the arm. And then I think one thing is like this little swoosh here, which I will say it, it is like a random little swoosh here, but it could have been a design choice from the artist or the VTuber, etc. Like we don't know the full context behind this. There could have been a reason for it. Cal says these work in progresses were provided by the owner of the company, Sen, even dated 2023 as well, to claim that the artist who did it went and drew over the model to provide work in progresses is outlandish. And here is Cal's evidence of Liz saying that, by the way. So Liz said, you generate the image first, you don't send the image. You draw on top, update with drawing on top sketch. After a few months, you just send the ready model unless the person asks you for obvious changes. So you prompt it again until it's to their liking. Don't play the victim. So here are the work in progresses. Here's the sketch. And as you can see, that little like swooshy boob detail that we talked about is still present in the even the first sketch. So it does seem very intentional that it's there. Here is the second work in progress and then screenshot of all of the updates. And for those of you guys that are confused about what Liz is talking about, this is what they mean. Okay, 
so what they mean is, and here's an example of an emote that I made myself a long time ago. I don't even know whether this is still on my Twitch channel or not, to be honest. Basically, right, when you generate art using AI, it's only going to output you the final results unless you go through other means. It's only going to give you the final piece. That's it. There's no work in progress. And what Liz is saying is that, oh, you know, somebody just, you know, took the original image and then erased some elements to look like it's a progress photo. So they're saying, oh, maybe you did this and then you probably just drew over the elements and you know let me let me color in the hair here let me erase all the shine oh yeah let me let me erase all of the highlights here and then the rest of the shadows here and let me erase all of this too okay this brush is too big okay but yeah you get my point right what liz is trying to say is that oh somebody took the original image that was a completed ai piece and then it painted over it to remove elements to make it look like it's an unfinished piece and then to be like Hey, yeah, you see, you see this, this artwork right here. Yeah. So this is like, I'm like 50% done with your piece. All I need to do is like draw the face in and color it in. This is crazy. If somebody does this, I do, I think there's somebody out there in crazy enough to actually try this to pass off AI art as their own. I do. Do I think Sen did this though? Or Sen's company did this? I don't think so. Because VTuber models are extremely time consuming to make, extremely complex. And to AI generate a VTuber model and then reverse engineer it from the final piece to a sketch, is really, really time consuming. Like it would take you longer to do that in my opinion than it would for you to just like make the VTuber model genuinely. So I don't know why anybody would go through this many hoops to try to scam. It just doesn't make sense due to how time consuming it is to do it. But again, there's probably some, somebody out there that will do this. So again, from Cal, shadows will always match the hair if you're drawing them instead of copying and pasting the hair strands. The floating hair strands as well, in fact, not floating as well. From the art of the model, it looks like the artist just drew a hair strand from the bigger one. Again. Another point that Liz was trying to say is, oh, look at the inconsistent hair strands. Okay, so here's an art piece that I made of my friend Annie. I drew this a while ago. Do, 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 do. But what Cal is saying is, okay, and this may not be the best example because the art that I made of her is not in the style that VTuber art tends to look like. If you draw a hair strand, and let me just like, but let's say there's like a hair strand like this and it cuts across Annie's face. What Cal is saying is that if the artist were to use their hands to then draw the shadow, so if I then decide to draw, oh, let me let me go add the shadows beneath the hair. Let me just draw this and this. Oh, shadows. Nice. It's going to look different because I manually redrew the brush strokes. If you took the hair strands, you see the hair strands, right? These hair, you copy it and you paste it, drag it downwards, and then you multiply it like that to make the shadows. So if you copy and paste the hair strands like this, of course, the shadows are going to look one to one. But if you manually draw the hair strands, it's going to look a little bit different because your brush strokes aren't going to be identical. So yeah, I absolutely agree. The hair strands are very symmetrical. They look very intentional and they also look hand drawn. So again, AI is not good at doing symmetrical stuff. Another point, one minute these things are AI generated, then this. Well, the belt isn't rendered, so it must be AI. If she's claiming the belt that it's inconsistent render on the model, I don't understand. Some people render things one at a time, especially if they cut it beforehand when drawing. So again, remember that belt that I showed you from that model where the belt was not finished, but the jacket was? Yeah, because it's probably due to the fact that that was not like a finished screenshot of the model, right? Here is another photo with the belt completed. And if you're wondering, oh, why are these like extra elements sticking out? It's because of a layering thing where again, when, you come, when it comes to making a VTuber model, even if elements are hidden, the hidden elements still must be drawn. So let's use me as an example, right? If you're making me like exactly how I am right now as a VTuber model, you would still need to draw the rest of my shirt right like the shirt under here that I'm wearing this tan shirt you don't end the shirt right here that you can see you would need to draw the rest of the shirt because in the VTuber model as you're moving left and right as I'm swaying left and right my jacket might open a little bit more and might reveal what was originally hidden same thing for the belt like hypothetically with my necklace right I could be sitting like this with my hair down but if I were a VTuber model and I'm swaying left and right my hair is gonna sway this way and it's gonna reveal more of my necklace so what may not be shown when I'm sitting still you know think of it as like a standstill VTuber model, if the model were to sway one way, it would reveal hidden elements, which is why from an artist's perspective, elements that would be hidden if the VTuber model was T-posing needs to still be drawn, which is why the belt does look maybe a little bit wonky to somebody with no art experience. I do think it's odd though that Liz, somebody with art experience, is pointing this, something like this out as a mistake. They are an artist, so I assume they should have known that. It sounds like they also make VTuber models as well. So going back to here, the hair is also weird 
weird point seeing that it's done with other models as well. And just in art in general, a lot of artists lighten hair that's supposed to be further away. So here, a difference in render quality referring to how this element is rendered versus it's less rendered out here. It's blurred because it looks like it's AI paint over, erased blurred hair. These are points as well. This could just be a design choice. Could AI do this? Potentially. But could this be a design choice genuinely made by a human being? Absolutely. And I do think this is probably a design choice. Like with this model here, there's again other elements that maybe look odd on first glance. But if you think a little bit more about it, it's probably due to the fact that this art is drawn with the intention of it being rigged, as in the intention for the art to be animated. One thing about this model that looks a little bit odd to me, but it makes a lot of sense, is the shadows. As you can see, there's shadows under the hair, but the shadows are lighter than the actual skin tone. And the reason for this is when you take a VTuber model, the art piece, right? And then you import it into Live 2D, which is the program that artists use to rig the models. Blend modes don't transfer over. So let's say, and what I mean by blend mode, okay, is what I used here. What a blend mode is, is if you click this drop down, it changes the appearance of the color. So with the multiply layer, as you can see, it makes it darker. Darker and changes it. Color dodge changes the color. So what artists normally do when it comes to drawing shadows, right, as you can see here with this shadow, I also made it a multiply layer, is you would draw the shadow in with whatever color you choose, and then you would largely select a blend mode like multiply so that it could have the desired effect. Blend modes do work on all colors so that, you know, it kind of blends it a little bit better. Like I said, blend modes don't transfer over to Live 2D. So if I select multiply in Clip Studio Paints, export my Clip Studio Paint piece as a Photoshop file because Live 2D can only open PSD files. The artist or the rigger opens my art piece up in uh, Live 2D. My All my blend modes won't show. So if I made it a multiply layer, it will not show as a multiply layer in Live 2D. So keeping that in mind, the rigger will then have to manually change that art that piece or that shadow or whatever to the blend mode you would like it to be. So that's basically why it's like lighter. I'm assuming that's because the rigger is going to go in, import this piece into Live 2D and then change all of the blend modes manually themselves because they have to <laughs> because it doesn't import over. And then it'll have the correct like shadow appearance. That would be my guess, right? Again, more work in progresses of this model. Again, I, this model was also accused of AI for the weird looking eyes or whatever. H inconsistent hair details. Again, you can see the hair details in the sketching process process. So I don't see the issue. You can see that it looks like that even from the sketch. And Cal points out this art by Scotty, who goes by SCO underscore TTIE, stating this is a common thing among artists. Even if you find the rendering weird, it doesn't mean it's AI either. Oh, and then this is referring to elements in the foreground being darker than elements in the background. As you can see here, right? The hair in the front is very dark. The hair that is further away from where the viewer's eye would be is much lighter. It's again, a design choice. Here, Cal says this one doesn't even look AI. If you look at the ears or even the braid a little closer, you would see gaps in the coloring. Clearly just human error as well. The client said it was an error, and as you can see, it's fixed. They even have abandoned the first draft. Crazy, right? So again, this was the model. Remember, the braid wasn't rendered. The two versions, first draft and then the final render. Returning to the purple model, though, Cal says, even by the sketch, the hair and eyes were just made that way. If you have a complaint about the art style of a model, saying it's AI is jumping the shark. When people point out AI hair, it's usually not connected to a base, but just all over the place, and this one clearly is not. AI art has a tendency to blend hair into other things which is not present in this model. For this model the rendering quality is different however that could literally be chalked up to human art as well. You could also say that about anime art in general tbh the rendering just tends to be different. These are the models with different rendering styles different quality of renderings. So this was the before and this was the after referring to the different quality renders. This piece I am still a little bit a little bit hmm about the wings specifically. I don't think the rest of the model is AI but the wings do throw me off a little bit because it has a lot of elements that are reminiscent of AI that I see. I do not think the beads are AI either. It's specifically just the wings that I'm a little bit mm, about. Here, Cal says, perfect example of this model made by Kate Art and Ramdeo1122. The rendering is inconsistent. However, people aren't using these as examples for AI because it's common. You have inconsistent rendering on the same model. So example number one, I believe here the inconsistency that's referred to is like maybe the level of rendering in the face versus the level of rendering in the hair, which is actually something that's really common in a lot of VTuber models. As you can see here as well, oh yeah, yeah, where the face is nowhere near as rendered as the rest of the body. Again, this is something that's actually very common in a lot of VTuber models. They want to maintain a very kind of like anime aesthetic in terms of the face. The rest of the model
model will have elements of kind of a re semi-realism embodied into it. That's something you see in a lot of VTuber models. It's a stylistic choice. To add to this, but a common thing for crooked lines and rigging. There's even videos on this because it happens, as well as the bald head. While it's not the best rigging, what does this point mean in terms of the art being AI? So again, oh, here the bald head peeking through or some of the, the cutting being a little bit odd. So again, there's obvious reasons why the bald head peeks through, right? Because it's all about the cut, the cutting and then the reshaping of the layers can happen. I will say though, if your rig is moving and the bald head is peeking through, that's a pretty big error in terms of the rigor themselves. They should go back and fix that. But that doesn't mean it's AI though. You know what I mean? That just means that this was a mistake that was overlooked by whomever rigged the art piece or whomever drew it didn't add enough hair pieces to cover the bald head and all of the movements. Cal says, like, hate to bring this guy up, but didn't KVX art literally get called out for having bad rigs? Like it's a bad rig, but it's literally just human error. And you putting this in to say that it's AI leaves a bad taste in my mouth personally. This mouse here, this may be a meme, but still it's literally a blurred out image which was painted over. This mouse though, for me personally, does give a little, a little bit of AI vibes. It's in the coloring. And we will go into this later because this mouse was apparently exposed for actually being AI. But again, I will say there's a lot of elements of like symmetry going on here in the ears and stuff like that that is typically not present in AI. Cal says to claim not one person, but this whole company is using AI art and that every single artist they hired wants to use AI as well is just very wrong and rubs me the wrong way. Making claims and talking about it as truth is wrong. You talk about the situation as truth and then also advertising yourself in the meantime is downright wrong. In my opinion, you're making a victim in this situation to profit off of it. And I believe the reason everyone is believing you is because posts are not getting traction. So Liz says not only did they give the impression that they were working on each model, making customers wait, but in reality, the models were nearly finished from day one. All they had to do was paint over it. The company I am talking about is VTube Forest 7. Please don't spread any hate towards the victims they were not aware. I am doing this to warn people. Many amazing artists would be really happy to get a commission and they would put a lot of love in each detail of your model. I'm included. That does rub me the wrong way though. Okay, if you are going to call somebody out or a company out and then to promo yourself directly on under it does a very odd does feel like your call out was for malicious reasons so again big shout out to cal because i think their breakdown was extremely thorough extremely helpful and it added extra visuals as well into what we were talking about here ai accusations it's all about context and everything together while there are some elements of the artwork that can be you know mistakes right like the gaps in the lines the bald head peeking through etc these at the end of the day largely can be chalked up to human error because it's two things there's ai art mistakes and then there's human mistakes and these mistakes are clearly human mistakes are are the rigs potentially a little rushed again because this is a company where it's not said doing all of the artwork right they're hiring freelancers to do the artwork and just kind of like packaging everything together nicely there are rigging mistakes there are areas and rigs and stuff that should have been either like fixed and communicated with but again we don't know the full context of where all these screenshots were grabbed maybe this screenshot was from work in progress of the model and then the error was later fixed I will later present to you some testimonies of people that have worked with Sen so that you can kind of get a gauge of their experience working with them. Initially, when this tweet was put out, everybody was really agreeing with Liz and on Liz's side. But then it kind of came out that Liz themselves potentially traces artwork. So there was this tweet put out by Kate Boo stating, making a call out post targeting an entire studio of artists and riggers when your model base was traced, dot, dot, dot. Original art by Bun Baby Art. And I have pulled up a side by side as well in Photoshop so we can compare it. So the green haired girl in the pink outfit is Bun Baby's art. And boy, oh boy, it is Bun Baby because we have actually talked about them before because they've gotten their art stolen and traced before, okay? They're truly suffering from success out here because their art is beautiful. I love their art style. This is happening again with their artwork, which I'm so sad to hear this is happening to them because boy, this artwork here is made by Lizby. This is on their actual portfolio. This is their portfolio. And then if we go to their ref sheets, that is their ref sheet. Another the ref sheet. And if we do overlap the artwork, I'm going to toggle it on and off. It's not exact, right? It is not exact. It's not traced. It does look heavily referenced. If I slowly here, if I slowly turn up the opacity, like the eyes are in the same place. The mouth is essentially the same shape. The boobs are in the same place and about the same size. And a big thing that I do want to point out is in Bun Baby style, they have a very unique shading style where on the thighs and the boobs, they airbrush it with pink and then they add little white dots in it. And that sort of shading style, again, is also, or that sort of shading style is also present in Liz's artwork as well. Does Bun own that shading style? No. 
it does kind of lend another element of, oh, this artist does heavily reference Bun Baby's artwork. And I mean, Bun Baby's art is really pretty, but just this is getting a little similar. And for this model as well, the full body, we can kind of overlap it as well. Again, it is not one to one. I am not saying this is traced. Is it heavily referenced? Allegedly, right? Again, toggling it on and off. I'm not trying to slide it too quickly because it will sometimes bug out. It's just a little bit odd. It's just very similar. If I were Bun Baby, this would be a little bit too similar for my liking personally. But again, I'm not trying to speak on Bun Baby's feelings. I am not them, right? But this is not the first time they have had their art stolen, traced, heavily referenced, etc. Using this as an example to show they do heavily reference or are inspired by Bun Baby's work is if we go to their illustrations, this one, this artwork is very reminiscent of Bun Baby's style. The rendering is very different, but I'm just saying the the face shape, the kind of like the expression, the the eyes look very similar. Proportions do look similar to me. It's not exactly the same. So this is just a show. There's nothing wrong with having, you know, artwork that is similar to an artwork of somebody you really admire and you look up to. But I will say this is just an example of the inspiration. I do think when it gets this similar, though, you are in a way crossing the line. And this was a reply that was actually put out by Liz B after they are being accused of tracing this piece from Bun Baby artwork. Liz says, my face is thinner, my eyes are different, lash is different, my hair volume is different, the height is different, nose is different, some body proportions are similar like any anime girl. And as we can see, these are the comparisons if aligned by height. I did not align by the tip of the shoe because the tip of Bun Baby's shoe is pointed and the tip of their shoe is rounded. So if, it's, if the tip of the shoe is pointed, it would elongate the foot a little bit, which is why I didn't line it one to one like that for that reason specifically. But I mean, I'm just saying it's a, uh, is it one to one? Is it traced? No, it's not kind of uncomfortably similar, potentially. Bun Baby can be the only person who can truly acknowledge whether this level of like similarity is okay or not to them, right? Because it's their artwork at the end of the day. And then in reference to this rev sheet, Cal continues, let's talk about her model while we're at it. She uses a blend tool under the boobs, but not anywhere else. There's highlights on the socks, but not on any other part of the clothes. She has weird strands on the lower side of her hair. Inconsistent. Okay, this is actually really funny. <laughs> this is actually really funny. The weird strands that are mentioned. Yeah, the blend on only the underside of the boobs, the different level of rendering on the boobs, which the hands cal is basically essentially mocking liz because these are the elements that liz pointed out as being ai on sen's artwork or sen's studios artwork but these elements are also present in their own art and again i do not think this is ai by the way i do not think liz has used ai in their art process from at least my understanding and looking at all of this but it's just interesting that the elements that they accused other people of being ai is also present in their own artwork and this is further breakdowns from cal about liz's artwork so after all this breakdown let me go into people's experiences with working with sen so we have a lot of breakdowns to cover the first one is from Znazi sam who stated i commissioned my current model from them and i could not disagree more zooming in on my own model i can see small line art imperfections that really can only be made by a human artist this whole thread is just a bitter smear campaign attempt in my opinion so there are some line errors in their model some small ones some more line errors again this is so normal it happens if you're a human artist it's impossible to make an absolutely perfect piece next tweet is from kane kira who also goes by Kaney Beer at Lisby Art at Sen. I want to say, yes, that is my model. The outfit is spot on. The quality is what you pay for TBH. It was a learning lesson for me. They did attempt to fix it, but in the end, I kept the art and they refunded the rigging. They also told me I could modify it. So their model, and these are errors that they circled on their model made by Sen. The first one is the star glitching into the boob. The second one is the collar glitching into the face. The third one is line art disappearing when the face turns this way. Error specifically, I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to of rough friends maybe the, the mouth is crooked here for um dupli doubling line art when the head tilts five the ear poking out a lot six oh what is happening with this little strand of hair and another breakage in lines so yeah there are model errors here essentially errors or mistakes in the artwork these are mistakes that in my opinion need to be corrected because the star glitching into the boob the collar glitching into the face are pretty big ones that can be a little bit janky especially if you paid money for the rig right you would want a quality rig so and like the you know the hair doubling up so that should be fixed but in the screenshot with their communication with 
Seven. Seven says, because this character's hair is asymmetrical on both sides, it's impossible to make both sides look the same. Bear is stating, this is why I need the artist to make more parts. May I have the artist's name as well? I'll give credit if this ever gets fixed. And then Bear says, may I fix it? I'll simply cut and copy, then layer it to mesh with the other parts. Fora says, we're currently attempting modifications as we're doing our best within our current knowledge to make the necessary adjustments. Therefore, we're not entirely sure how to further modify additional parts at this time. Feel free to make any modifications. And Bear says, I would appreciate that a lot. So yeah, although this is unfortunate that the model is a little bit buggy in terms of the rig, thankfully they were able to work out a scenario. And again, this is something that's going to happen if you work with a model studio, in my opinion, right? With a studio or a company like this, Sen is reaching out to their team of artists and you're going to get one of the artists on the team. So depending on which artist you get, maybe if you ended up with an artist that isn't as familiar with rigging, maybe like very asymmetrical hair, for instance, they could lead to some model errors that other people may not have had the same experience with this company because they had a different artist. Seraph Dream says, here's my experience with this company, a thread. I originally commissioned them from my 1.0 model back in September. I gave them my exact design specs according to the template that they have on their Etsy page and I received something completely different. So here are the exact specs. This was what they received. I already felt disappointed with this experience, so I was going to go elsewhere. After an even worse experience with another artist, I came back and we were finally able to get an arrangement on how the first design would look. I felt like we had hit a good starting point, so I decided to commission them again in March to begin my 2.0. I had no contact with them after I paid my deposit until May when I reached out because, according to their page, it's only supposed to take 10 to 12 days to get your sketch. They told me I was forgotten. So again, they were communicating and Seraph paid March 28th. They got their sketch May 11th. However, they did add that the sketch was complete, they never sent it. After I approved it, it only took nine days to get the rendered sketch. However, there was a distinct change between the two design ears that was not approved. So the sketch, the version two, the ears became wings. That probably was just an accident, to be honest. Whomever rendered it, maybe some miscommunication, whatever. It took another 12 days to receive an updated image with the changes back to the ears. Finally, in mid-July, I get the first teaser of the rigging. After it was told in June, it would be done before the end of the month. Because I had to push back my estimated 2.0 debut, I asked for additional expressions to be added since the time had taken so long. We are now in mid-August. They have ignored my messages asking for a rough ETA and I have been radio silent since. I understand these things take time. An example of the update, the update was given July 29th and now they're mid-August, August 16th and no update yet. Allegedly, Forrest had promised or Seven had promised to finish the model by end of June. So we are now two months out. However, the lack of communication, the drastic differences in the sketch to the render without my consent makes me feel like I sadly cannot trust this company anymore. Also, any weird cropping with the images is because they put sensitive information on those pictures. All out to say, I'm not 100% sure on the AI claims, but I cannot recommend working with them at this point in time. Again, I do feel like this is just an issue that happens if it's a studio that works with multiple artists. Depending on which artist you get, you're going to get a different quality, different art style if this studio did not heavily vet their artist. I am not trying to accuse Sen of maybe like not running the studio properly, this, that, and the third. I'm just saying this is something that could happen if there's multiple artists in employed, right? But not everybody has the same experience, right? Kenta, who goes by Kenta Hisashi on Twitter says, girl, this whole thread is a mess. I've worked with Sen. They've kept me updated on the whole process when it came to sketches and the final rendering. Doesn't appear that any use of AI has taken place. To slander a business and a team of artists like this is just shameful. So they provided examples of their sketch, of their flat color, of the render. And their model looks great. But then we have this tweet from Mira Jane DS, who wrote, we just got a DM of him confirming they used AI to make this model. I can send it on Discord to you if you want. And that was referring to the hamster model. And this was the proof that Mira provided. Uh, Seven says, hello, are you there? After our review, we found that the artist who created this work for you used AI. We can offer you a refund or make this piece. Please let us know what you would like us to do. And Sen put out an apology yesterday, August 19th. Sen stated, apology statement. After reviewing thousands of orders, I found that a few orders lacked solid proof that AI was not used. In line with a cautious approach, I have contacted the buyers for refunds and will not continue working with designers who can't provide proof. And people have replied, Die King Crow says, a few people who do wrong doesn't reflect poorly on you in my eyes. You're an amazing individual to work with. You're the face of a company and at the end of the day, employees mess up sometimes. You're owning up to it and taking steps to resolve it. That in itself is honorable. I commend your efforts. Lex the Octo says, I was a bit wary, but honestly, you seem legitimate. The models look nice and detailed and it doesn't look like painted over AI to me. You also provided evidence against it. I hope I can get a model made from you one day once I have the money. Zach Not Kyle says, good on you for addressing this and cutting off those artists. Hope to see great work from you in the future. And finally, we have streamer Suto Custom 
Sims, which I really like this tweet that they put out to wrap this all up. Suto says, it didn't read malicious at all. They started with stating why they were posting, providing probably what took hours of possible examples while working alongside clients that had worked with the company. Was it wrong to just full blown post it before reaching out to the artist? But not everybody is good with how to handle said situations. They are a smaller account with no experience in this matter. That they should apologize for. However, the intent seemed to protect others from being scammed. Common practice for the art community, but there are other ways to clear speculation. However, it was proved AI was used anyways, so it is what it is. And screenshots of more proof, and again, send themselves confirmed it. And Redacted said, TBH, it brought to light and we were all sat in Discord yesterday for hours on looking at each other's models on stream. And the person who went to him and confronted him got the answer we needed. Let's just say it's only one that was AI that is still one too many because how many have they done it to? Omega says, she states that she was looking at her competition when she did this. That alone is enough reason for slander to take out the competition. Suto says, well, it ended up being true and she shouldn't have gotten excited with all those positive responses to the tweet. Not a good look, but also not the reason for the initial post. I don't know why things have to always be so black and white, but also at this point, it really doesn't matter, does it? It's true and the artist has offered to refund. It's a step in the right direction. And it should have been upfront about using AI to begin with. Don't think people care as much about AI as long as they know you're using it. Serendipitous says, but not everyone is good, end quote. I'm gonna stop you right there. If you're not capable of properly executing concern, especially without doing the bare minimum amount of decency involved, then you shouldn't be piping up, period. There's no excuse. Negligence alone can be malicious. Elite Cookie or Salt Kraken says, one artist used AI, therefore it has been proven AI was used across the board, end quote. Doesn't work when it's been accused of everything being AI. Not just from one artist within the company. They even got asked for a remake or a refund. But anyways, to wrap this all up, I do think that if we do, if we try to give benefit of doubt on both sides, right? There's two sides and the truth. And also there doesn't always have to be a villain and a hero in every story. I do think in this scenario, potentially Liz saw that maybe there was some AI suspiciousness going on and completely fair to do a little bit of snooping investigation on your own. But I do think that the evidence they came up with to support their claims was not sufficient. Sen did apologize. There was AI used in their artwork and in VTuber models that they have put out from their company. At the end of the day, it was not all of their VTuber models. It was the hamster. And they said that they have contacted everybody involved. So maybe there were other people as well, but it was not as many as Liz made it out to be. Trying to give the benefit of the doubt, I'm thinking that maybe Liz saw this and excited and a little bit carried away and was like you know got very excited in the snooping that they were doing and just made this big old tweet being like oh this is going to be a banger and while they there were elements of truth to it it did get spun a little bit further than what it actually was again please don't send hate to anybody okay either side etc no hate going on here please and again in this scenario I don't think there's a hero and villain in the story right because while Sen is running their own studio they're their face of their company you know like more power to them good for them right there was ai that was present from the art that was made by their art there's going to be bad actors that will always sneak through but i do think that this should be a lesson to send as well to kind of do more due diligence in vetting their artists and the processes and if there are people that are kind of hanging on waiting for updates um like i did mention earlier keep track of them update whenever possible again i'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt right they probably have a whole bunch of orders that many artists that they're managing are working on right now so maybe potentially things just fell through the crack. Now that you know, if, if Sen is watching this video, I don't know, right? Go follow up, catch up on your loose threads. And I do hope Liz can learn and be better and also potentially reference Bun Bun's art a little, a little bit less, a, just a little, little bit less, you know, not as close. I don't think the art is traced. I do think it's very similar though. But my cat is here. But yeah, anyways, please don't send hate to anybody. I don't know what the baby boy is up to. <laughs> But yeah, I just hope everybody can move on from this scenario and put it past them. And so everybody can get pretty art.